Chuck Joyner, and this is Mac Voices TV at Blog World in Las Vegas. And I stumbled across the one of the co-hosts, or one of the hosts, or I don't know how you title it, of one of my favorite shows, uh, Command N, Jeff MacArthur. Jeff, welcome to Mac Voices TV. Yeah, great, uh, great to be here. I've been watching your show since I think shortly after it started. You and and Amber and uh, Will and the whole crew. You guys do such a high quality job in such a nice, concise little bit of time, but I always feel well-informed when I when I finish your show. Well, that's sort of our goal, so it's great to great to hear you say that. I mean, uh, that's a big thing on the web is, is you need to be kind of bite-sized, and if you can manage to fit what you want to say into a compact amount of space, then, then you're probably doing it right, so uh, glad to hear you say that. Well, it's, it's also been interesting to watch the show evolve because at first it was kind of like the cool new stuff on the web every week, then you came on, you started doing reviews, and then the reviews started getting a little more in-depth. So it's like you're constantly reinventing yourselves and adding value to what you do. Well, when we started off, our first episodes were actually uh, shot on a MacBook, uh, uh, an iSight camera off a MacBook. Uh, so we, had, we hadn't broken the show down into segments or anything like this, and, uh, and I think over the next six to nine months we sort of got the segment idea together start dividing it up into the the tech tips and the hot stuff product reviews and web picks and stuff but yeah we went from uh from just a little webcam to you know uh sort of your little wedding video camcorder to a, a real three ccd camera and uh and and gotten better at the editing and the content and stuff so it, it certainly has evolved and uh, and and we're very pleased with sort of where it's going and you know, you mentioned something else, the balance. The balance of good content versus production value. The production value has steadily increased, but you've kept the content increasing as well, so I never feel like you're trying to do that bait and switch that some places do. Right. Yeah, we're, uh, we're very careful to, to make sure that we're, you know, really serving our audience. And, uh, and I have to give props out to uh, Chris Dick, who's our, our cameraman and editor who came on uh, a year and a bit ago now, and he, he's really done fantastic things for the, for the look of the show. So as Amber and Will and I have been working on the content side, Chris has been keeping it looking uh, more and more professional and just more visually exciting with the same sort of content in the background. So, and We were talking before the, uh, we, we did the interview, but you are coming up on something of a, a landmark in your shows. Uh, pardon me? With, with, with the amount that you've published. Oh yes, I see. Uh, yeah, we're getting to our 200th episode. I think we're we're 196 right now, 197, and uh, and yeah, it's it's insane to think that uh, that it's been going on that long, four and a half years, uh, and uh, you know, I've probably been in front of a camera more than some TV people. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's any question. For the folks though that don't know everything else that your your team does, what is behind the uh, the Command N Empire? So. Uh, after Command N was formed, Amber and I uh, came together when she left uh, City TV, working in the in the news world, and formed her own company called MGI Media. And it's basically a production house, tech consulting company that does social media, usability, video production, and and some web design. And uh, and so we've got that in the background. Command N is definitely our, our flagship production, and it it brings us a ton of business, and it's been great in terms of networking. Uh, and we're just we're Keep moving on with that. We got the new Xbox series, uh, Xbox Live series, Girls Go Geek with Amber, and uh, that's our first full HD production. So that's a an interesting step, and uh, and certainly comes with some hurdles. If you're working in HD, you know what I'm talking about. Your oh, yeah. those little render times become awful big. <laughs> Upload times become awful large. And I got to tell you, I've. Amber is one of my favorite interviewers. I saw that she revived Web Nation again. Yes, which, which was great. But Amber's an interviewer who knows how to ask a question and let then let someone answer, and that's really rare in the online media world. That's funny. I remember back in the day when uh, when uh, Amanda Cognon left Rocket Boom, uh, and there were rumors swirling around about about would Amber be a replacement for that, and uh, and I was I was really impressed with Amber's response to me was that. Jeff, I'm a journalist. I'm not an actress. Uh, you know, I, she takes pride in that. That's her, her educational background too. And I think, uh, you know, she's got a lot of experience, not just in the video podcasting world, but conventional television and and a lot of other uh, different sources. And, and yeah, she she does does that stuff just great. Well, I'm a fan of both of you. You both do a great job, and I appreciate you taking some time to talk to us. Thanks. Great to great to talk to you. Folks, I'll have links in the show notes to Command N, to everything Jeff just talked about, uh, and to follow him on Twitter and me on Twitter. 
Until the next time, this is Mac Voices TV at Blog World. I'm Chuck Joyner. Thanks for watching. Mac Voices TV is part of the Mac Voices Group and a member of Mac Level 10.